Well, it's been a pretty long time since I last had a model unboxing. So. You can see what it is right here. LTM 1750. Long-weighted model. There's where I got it from. FMB shop. And I also got a couple other things along with it. Right here being one of them. This is the YCC modular spreader bar kit. 300 tons and 920 tons. I've seen pictures of them and they look really, really, really nice. Seeing caps. Screw on. It's pretty cool. I was wondering how these went together. I thought they went together with tiny butt nuts or bolts, but that's a lot better. You just screw screw together. I don't think it comes with any shackles or anything. It comes with some wash uh, rubber washers and another screw, a bolt, hex key, down key. That's pretty cool. They're real heavy too, all metal. The only thing I wish it had on it was like the tonnage lifting capacity or whatever marked on it length and tonnage capacity these are all the colors that come in right here's the model number 717 I think it was 90, 90 bucks, maybe. Yeah, I didn't order them. That's pretty cool. And here's two other things that I got. YCC 785-2B. This is... Anemometer. Yeah. Anemometer. Warning beacon. And it actually spins. That's pretty cool. Because it's really tiny. And it comes with a bracket you can glue onto the crane to stick it in. that and YCC 783H-1 this is a anti-tube block bar for DMAG crane, Terex DMAG cranes you use these on your crawlers or AC 700, AC 500 I made one out of plastic for my AC500. This one's metal. Comes with the chains. Just a two block bar. Hangs from the chains. And when you cable out the block, will hit that and kick it out. 
safety device. And this is brackets to glue onto the side of the crane for the chains to hook onto. Eighteen forty nine euros. Now the beacon and anemometer was twelve sixty one. I think it was like twenty bucks, maybe right around twenty bucks for each. <laughs> Dump all these out. Don't make a mess. Pretty heavy. So here's the box. Pretty big box. Nice picture. In the back, with two of them. That one is, I think it's MSG. And this one I think is Weisbauer. Weisbauer. Not sure how you say them. I was going to hold out for a while before I got this, but so I want a all crane version. But seeing everybody else get it and those pictures of it, I couldn't read anymore. If they do make a all version I will get it. I might sell this one, I don't know. The instruction booklet. Colored pictures. It's in English. Parts list. It's all in English, so there's that. At least there's no tape to cut. All plastic clips. It's pretty nice. And each side's labeled top and bottom. It's pretty big. Here's all the base plate, the outrigger plates, mats, usual WSI mats, lifting lugs on them. Two outriggers. Clip into position. They are metal. Feels like it's as far as it screw outrigger screw up. It won't go up no more. Here's the other two. 
He's already got pads on. Pretty sure these are the back ones. Because the back ones have handles on them. Here's your base plate. Tab swinging out for different configurations. And I think it has little tabs that you put in these holes for different counterweight configurations. But you can swing these in and just have one stack on each side, or you swing these out and have double stacks, like the 11200. And here's a spreader bar, which is pretty cool. It says Libre on it. It's nice that it comes with a spreader bar. And no shackles or nothing. It's just something to hang from it. It is metal. And here's a stack of weights. All individual. Really heavy. They look nice. 10 ton logos on them. Lee Bear. Here's the other set. Here's your winch pack. Really big, detailed, heavy. This plate's loose. Just slots in. Doesn't look like much holds it on. Super detailed. Handrails feel metal, and they've pre-reeved the luffing bridle for you. Looks like it's the right way to, as the real one. Here we got some walkways. Sit up on the deck, around your tray. Outrigger pads and some brackets. Looks like for the outriggers. Some ladders. Your caps for the counterweights. That a chain would attach to your safety chain. It looks like a lifting strap. Here's your hooks, three sheave block, hook swivels, here's your nine sheave, I believe, yeah, nine sheave block, swivels, there's some more walkways, um, this key is to turn the, to raise and lower the winch pack. 
There's a bunch of pins and bolts, drum keys, screws. Here's your super lift. Really heavy, and it's upside down. Hope those ain't broke. Pendants are metal. That's nice. I thought they were plastic, but they're not. Torn ton. The sheaves. There's a storage bracket. Really nice. Pendant's got all kinds of warning labels on them. And then last but not least, the crane, which is a lot bigger than I anticipated. Pretty heavy. Move this box out of the way. I don't see no loose parts in it. That's good. Here's the crane. Looks super nice. I really like the look of this crane. Big and beefy. Tab swings back. I believe it tilts down or folds down. Folding handrails on top. They are metal. I feel like. That's really nice. On older models, you have to just switch them out for foldable ones. This looks really good and super detailed. Here it is, a long awaited 1750. Pretty happy with the look of it. Looks really nice. I'll do a size comparison real quick. Since I already got the cranes taken down to show you. Here's the 11200. Just about the same length. 11200 or the 1750 carrier, it's just a touch longer. Next we have the 1500. It's 
definitely longer, obviously. Boom's bigger. Then the LTM 1300, little baby, or 1350, I mean. $12.50. That's with all the carrier cabs lined up. I do the 1300 too, but I got it set up. But there's the unboxing. Sorry, it's real long. But I'll set this up and get some pictures and put it up on Facebook. The pictures will already be up by the time you see this video, so. I know I haven't posted any model videos in a while, but it's just been really busy at work and got house payments and bills. So it takes away from all the model stuff. <laughs>